There are concerns this evening about the focus of the campaign leading to the local government election. Some pundits argue that it appears less about issues at the municipal level and more about national matters. The February 26 local government election is shaping up to be major. Pundits say that's not because of a greater interest in councillor candidates or the responsibilities of municipal corporations, but because of a major focus on party leaders and MPs. Since nomination day, both JLP leader Andrew Holness and PNP president Mark Golding have been touring the country on the campaign. They have led party meetings, sometimes throwing jabs at each other. Andrew Holness is running around the country, spewing out promises like him have run in belly and he's not going to deliver any of them. The bottom drop off the clocks. The time for a new government under the People's National Party and the beginning of the end of the Labour Party starts on the 26th. The such man has converted this into a general election. We are feeling the town square of Port Antonio for a local government election. It is quite obvious and that was a miscalculation. Who tell him we got trouble with the party answers? It's why there is now growing concern that the party leaders are distracting from the responsibilities of councillors and municipal corporations. Some political analysts have described the upcoming poll as a referendum for the two parties as they test their machinery for a general election. But Executive Director of Jamaicans for Justice, Mikhail Jackson, says this robs residents of the chance to have the best candidate to address local issues. It cannot be seen as a referendum in, in a general election sense because it takes away from the importance of local government. It takes away from the importance of the issues that we mentioned, the needs of the poor in the community, primary health care, health and sanitation levels within your, your market, the, the matter of vending, environmental impact assessment. When you focus on the general election approach to get a sense of whether or not you can win your seats in parliament, it's a disservice to the Jamaican people. In addition to throwing jabs, the PNP has also used the campaign to introduce candidates for the general election. The JLP has used the platform to boast of major projects, including the highway project in St. Thomas. The JFJ is calling for the campaigning approach to be changed to one that educates the electorate about the local government process and what the candidates will bring to that level of governance, which in effect should see more people being interested and willing to participate in the process.